What's up, guys, and welcome back to No Color Entertainment. This is Matt, and we're diving into one of my favorites today. Mass Effect. I bought the Legendary Edition, so I have all three games now. All DLCs, all guns, everything. So we're going to be uh, diving in, and we'll be playing the entire trilogy um, of Shepard. And... This is easily one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Um, so, um, the way I play, I just choose what I would actually choose. I don't um, go Paragon or Rogue or whatever. Just whatever I'm thinking at the time. Uh, so we're going to see what happens. And we're going to go through this. Just need to uh, do a couple things real quick here. Bang, bang. So let's dump, jump into this. The first Mass Effect. Man, when we get to the second one, I can't wait. This is one of the greatest RPGs of all time. So pretty. All right, we gotta turn down the music and stuff. It's gonna give me that option. Sound. Nope. Yeah, we're going to bring this stuff down a little bit. Bring that up. Definitely bring the music down just a touch here. There we go. That should be better. And then gameplay. So what do we want to do here? Do we want to go hard? I'm not doing insanity. It's not happening. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Uh, all enemies have protection. What's the same? 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 What's Classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range we use instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Well, then let's go to classic mode so we can go really crazy with it. Yeah, no, all talents. Auto save, good, good, good. I'm thinking veteran. Veteran will be good. So let's do that. Okay. All right. Let's jump into this. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. All right. Please log in to access your profile. Yeah, we'll do that. Profile reconstruction complete. Oh wait. Oh no 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 no. We, we want to play with Please this a little bit. Please log in to access your profile. Enter a new ID. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna play with it a little bit. We're still gonna Please be John log Shepard. In to access your profile. Warning: data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. There Confirm we go. Confirm pre-service history. Uh, sorry about the noise. Sorry about the noise. Just move it a little closer here. All right. 
Uh, space or both of your parents were in Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years, following your parents' footsteps you listed at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindor, a small border colony in the Attic and Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Earthburn, you were an orphan, raised on the streets of the great metro megatropolises covering earth you escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18 hello cat my cat just decided to just jump on my chest here um we're gonna go colonist Confirm psychological profile uh, during your service a mission you were on went horribly wrong trapped in an extreme survival situation you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people you survived while those around you fell and now you alone are left to tell the tale War hero early in your military career, you find yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition for the United Speed. Ruthless throughout your military career, you have held fast to one base scroll, get the job done. You have been called cold, calculating, brutal. Your reputation for ruthless and efficiency uh, makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when your failure is not an option, the military always goes to your purse. I saw Survivor on that Confirm one. Confirm military specialization. Yeah, this is where we get to have fun. How do we want to play? So we're soldiers. Those are just pretty much guns. They have better health. Um, they can use all weapons and can wear medium armor and can train in the use of high may armor. Engineers are tech specialists using the holographic Omnipool to decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. So there's healer. Uh, no. Adepts are biotic specialists through upgradable implants that can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable and destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Infiltrators can buy combat and tech abilities. Uh, biotic and tech. Typically, they use biotic abilities, advanced healing skills to defend allies. Also, disrupt opponents with biotic efficient tech. But at the expense of combat, Sentinels can only wear light armor. We receive no weapons training. And they combine one of the specialized pistols and shotguns that wear medium armor. Okay. I'm kind of... I'm kind of liking the uh, Vanguard a little bit, but I don't think I want to be that close. Uh, Infiltrator sounds cool. And this is probably what we're going to go with all three games. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. It's going to take you some time here. Let's do... Infiltrator or Adept? One of those two is kind of catching my eye here. I'm not sure which one. Uh, let's do Infiltrator. Confirm let's facial fun. identification. Change my appearance a little bit here. Don't need to go too crazy with it. Let's get that thick neck. The thickness. Uh, do, 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 do. Eyes. Eye shape. Oh, that's cool. All right. Do, do iris color. Where's those blues? No green. There's green. There we go. And do middle and old. Doesn't do the hair, jaw. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Hair. Wait. 
Yeah, there you go. There we go. Yeah. Looking good there, Shepard. We'll get a scar there so the hair can't fully grow in. There we go. Profile Dang. reconstruction complete. All right. Try Identification that out. confirmed. Uh, again, we're going veteran here. No auto level up. I like leveling. Do, 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 do. And I'll do it. All right, here we go. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His Ladies parents were killed when slavers attacked Keith Eloy. David. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling the travel of the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in mass human history. The civil civilizations call it Mass Effect. I tried to get through that in time. <laughs> the Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Oh man, this brings back so many memories. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. Seth Green, ladies and gentlemen. All stations secure for transit. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. <laughs> Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I mean, They yeah. don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room <laughs> for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. 
Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. <laughs> Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? Probably. All we're supposed <laughs> to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. No, it doesn't. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on East Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Hey, Nihilus. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain, the captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. So? I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you getting to something, or...? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Yeah. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why, uh, why there does he must be a reason here? you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This uh -huh. discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. Mm -hmm. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay, so what about Why this beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. 
If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. What wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Like Atlantis. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Isn't it always? Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Just give the word, Captain. Let's go then. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Oh. Get down! That's not good. Heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... The hell? Oh! The hell? Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Okay. Hand of Status God. report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right, we're good. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. All right. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless.
Form up. Lancer, you go with the Lancer too. There you go. It's quiet. Too quiet. There it is. Yeah, right, that's a problem. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Yep. Aye, aye, sir. It's not great, but... So yeah, he's gone. All right. Oh, I do have some stuff. Cool. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and start moving up here. I do have this though, so let me just use that for now until, uh... Okay. Six points? Okay. That's a shepherd. Why won't it let me do that? Okay. That's kind of weird. Strengthen your shields, increase the amount of whole store. store. Can I, yeah, let me undo, let me get two there, get a couple of those, won't do that, and then you have some stuff. Alright, we're alright. Oh. 
Hello. I think that's Ashley. The hell? I don't remember a lot of this. Oh! Okay. That's what's happening right now. Where are these guys? There we go. So let's use Taj on him and throw on him. Sorry, getting back used to it again. He's already down. Okay. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Yeah, hi Ashley. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out. Okay. Yeah, let's get you going. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Alright. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there.
Well, we can do equipment, right? Yeah, equipment. Uh, Ashley. Yeah, let's give you that. Just be better for you. And we do have a sh different shotgun. Let's give that to me. And then, do I have anything else? No. Okay. That's not good. Forgot about this. Yeah, let's not, uh... Ah, oh, hell. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. Uh huh. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Right? <laughs> Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an right. extra dose of his meds after the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents mm -hmm. of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could okay. hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably mm -hmm. well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Yeah, Williams, really... take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay. You guys are weird. So, 
over here though. Okay, get some more Omni Gel. Good, good, good. And we got this stuff. Okay. So let's do. Oh, I gotta get. Okay, I gotta get pistols to a certain amount before I can do that. Okay. This is headshot damage, purge, weapon, heat on you. So, okay. That unlocks snipe rifles, and that's what I need. Nice. Yep, so we'll do that. Oh, we gotta do more stuff. Uh, yeah, let's get our healer up. Oh, well, equipment, we got some new equipment, so let's, so here we've got nothing that's really better, more shields, uh, yeah, I'm actually thinking, well, let's do more shields there for you, and let's do, you're already kind of set, the same thing. So let's turn that into Omni Gel. Alright, cool. What's up, buddy? Who's that? Sarah. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh. That just happened. Oh. Took the hand of God stuff. Alright. Uh, so let's do that. Do that. You're good. first what I say go okay take your time check this stuff out okay everybody stay calm out there we're coming out we're not armed Okay. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, if 
felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't mm -hmm. know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. Uh -huh. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Anything else you hide in here? Oh, look at that. All right. So, let's see what else we got. sniper rifle yet. This one has. Let's go there. Alright. Ah, what is that noise? Oh, Nihilus. It's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I, I'm sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. Your pal? My name's pal. Yeah. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, <laughs> what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. We're playing the first one, Super. Welcome to the stream. Just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? We're gonna do all three of them. Uh, yeah, let's let it go. It's Forget not about him. Go. He's not worth it. Yeah, it's not. You're lucky the it's commander's here, pal. Bigger things going Hand on. Hand over those grenades. 
They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Uh huh. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the planet. No, we are not doing Andromeda. Andromeda doesn't exist. Andromeda is not a game. I don't know what you're talking about. What's Andromeda? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. <laughs> I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Wow. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> yeah, like if you a break. snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Hey, there's a pop, 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 and I got a Prothean for five, 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 ten, fifteen, fifteen. Do we have fifteen, twenty, twenty, and twenty-five? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we so need to find that beacon before it's too late. Yep. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, 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 I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Wait, what? You go to you. You stay with the pistol. Bitch. No one over there. Where is it? Pop that little head out one more time. What are y'all shooting at? Cause I don't see nothing. Alright, well, time to move. Yeah, there it is. There's a couple. There we go. And that's how you do that. Oh, hello.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Mm-hmm. Guess a fight's about to break out here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. About five minutes, really? All right. Disarm. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. One more over here. I'm gonna piss on this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more. Three minutes, we're good. for now. Right, we got some problems coming up, so let's see what this uh, nice So, let's go to Sniper Rifle, because now I see that you have uh, now that I have one. Uh, it does more damage, doesn't shoot quite as much, and it has a lower accuracy. Well, let's try it. Let's see what it does. needed that so I can get my first sniper rifle point and then with you let's build that up a little bit wanted that fully trained at all times and a little more health some stuff okay all right see no sweat no sweat at all okay, before we do the beacon let's see what this crate has over here take all that shit And now we check out the beacon. So what are we doing here? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. 
Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. The ship that touched Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Yeah, what the hell happened up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. Well, I have, I have no over. idea if that's what actually <laughs> set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase right, in the I would rapid kill for 15 hours of sleep. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings at normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. <laughs> That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Lay down, Saren. 
That other tourist. Please. Saren's a spectre. Oh. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Alright, sorry guys. One second as we hit the obligatory part of the stream where Drogo tries to ruin it. Let me take care of him real quick. I'll be right back. Things we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. I know Sarah. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright, I, I think this is a good spot to end it tonight. Um, we'll be, like I said, we'll be doing this whole trilogy. And we'll be going back to Returnal um, this month. Uh, there'll be a lot more streaming. So uh, keep posting. Make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you hit that um, uh, subscription. And uh, we'll probably be back a little bit with tomorrow night. Uh, take care of yourselves. And for No Color Entertainment, this is Matt. I'm out.